Welcome back, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great week. Alright, I wanted to go over how I passed my 150k top step in two days. Alright, everything was sent into Discord, right? PNL, sent a couple trades, sent the main trades that passed the account. Okay. It was two, three big trades that mainly passed the account for me. Lots of small little losses right just looking for those big trades to add into to be able to pass the account for top step you can't pass it in one day so had to pass it in two right it was a 150k account so we aimed for 400 or excuse me 4500 each day total of 9000 over two days going to be continue trading this for the discord just showing pnls showing trades all right <coughs> The reason I simply won't trade an eval for more than a couple days is because I know I have the accounts that can make the real money, all right, and I also know that I can pass the account within a couple days. It bothers me just wasting time on the accounts, right? Unless it's like a huge account where I spend, you know, put a lot more money into it. I'm not gonna think about how much money I've put into it, but I'm not gonna, you know, full port a thousand dollar account, you know, like a two hundred k one of one. Right, might just tr take a couple good trades, get a buffer, then full port it. But, <clears throat> right, I wanted to pass it in two days for the Discord, so I chose two days where news was a factor and traded. All right, I'll be honest, I did over trade, but I did wait to fully leverage into those trades that I found were A. All right, until they were A. Right, I didn't just full port, you know, the random trades, maybe. Two, three cons, four cons, right? And then the full good trades, right? I leveraged in my full 15, 10 cons. All right, do not trade like this, by the way. I'll show a couple of the trades and how I was trading. It'll make you worse just over trading and, you know, low time frame scalping. <clears throat> it's always good to just be patient and waiting for a key level to be hit. All right, being patient is a big factor of being profitable and not being profitable if you take every trade right with the same amount of risk like you know you're supposed to do all right some people like trade in different ways on my own i'm gonna trade how i like to trade i'm not gonna say certain things because some people might hear it and think it's fucking crazy and i don't really care because i'm gonna continue to trade how i trade because i like how i trade and it works for me right might not work for others because some people might get scared of holding a drawdown or buying a big black candle or selling a big green candle. <clears throat> right, even buying the low old lows is crazy for some people. Right, I, I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to keep doing me, keep focusing, keep trying to get better, put these videos out to help people who, you know, want to trade like that, to see turtle soup and, you know, all pieces of turtle soup and, you know, even ICT traders. Right, I'll, if they want to join, want to follow along, right, this is who that's for. If you, if you don't want to, you know, you're a hater, right, you can comment, I'll, you know, I'll respond. But other than that, I don't really care, right. I don't regret the way I trade, don't regret any of the trades that I do take, okay. I took the same, you know, the A-plus trades on my, uh, my, like, live Apex account, all right. I didn't sit there and take all the trades side by side right <clears throat> anyway when i knew they were good trades you know i knew they were good trades um you'll see a lot of bullshit trades right lots of smaller losses with maybe one or two big losses i think there is like maybe a thousand dollar loss uh but it was i think that was one trade and then maybe one another one was like 400 all right and then we'll see the average winners to losers and that's where you really have to keep your eye on all right, you'll see the average loss on one day is like $80 compared to a $750 average winner. All right, this is why the low time frame scalping of turtle soup works. Also, why cycle scalping works. And it's also how I turn the low time frame scalps into big winners. <coughs> Sorry for the yap session. All right, if you want to skip. Right, you've probably seen the skip at the beginning of the episode to the timestamp of the stats. 
but right the stats are gonna definitely shock you and you're gonna be like why why would you even show this all right it's mainly i want to show the power of the turtle soup rr all right you can look at the win rate you can judge it i really don't care because at the end of the day i'm gonna keep doing me right keep keep trading the key levels right more leverage if i want to scalp low time frame that's what i'm gonna do all right and, and i'm gonna do it on an account that doesn't hurt me right even an eval right i know where to put my risk i know where to take my risk out right especially with evals i want to pass in one or two trades it's super simple to do okay all right and another key point is the psychology is the reason I don't just sit on evals is because I could pass evals easily and then I'd get to the real money and man oh man it would it, it would kill me right I, don't, I just don't know how to see these numbers and me actually understanding that I'm getting the money like it would just man I'd be tweaking out I don't know what my problem was right I'd literally my heart would be pounding my my, my hands would be shaking right Full, like because I would full port you know I'd pass the apex and full port the apex and we're talking about making I mean you know at the time it was insane to me right because I go from making you know a normal amount at a working job to you know seeing three or four thousand in one trade and I I just it it just blew my mind and, and the fact that I could actually do it as well you know even before the facts I, I, I knew that the power that I had like could harness it with where I could enter and where I could get out but my psychology would not me allow or not allow me to do any of that because I would you know want I'd be just just anything you could think of I would be thinking of you know oh, I'm gonna miss out oh this or that oh blah 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 right <clears throat> and then you know I'd risk less and then bang out trades bang out trades right small losses small losses small losses bang out trades bang out trades right that dollar amount is going to kill you and if it's doesn't kill you right just keep doing you but for me right the only way that i could fix that knowing the way that i traded worked and it was me that was the problem was buying a lot of accounts and just forcing myself to either blow the account or wait for a good setup all right full porting each account like that would just numb the dollar amount to me and i still even with you know bigger numbers i'm not gonna put you know a number on bigger numbers but right bigger numbers than we're talking about now it <clears throat> it does play a little effect in my mind but eventually we're gonna have to keep getting past that and keep just building forward keep building forward keep building forward right i had a man it was like a 50k apex that got to I think it was like 65k right and I didn't blow it I got you know one or two payouts then blew it so I, you know no risk on the account made back the money on the account plus some right because 50ks are only like $30 you know on an 80% off maybe 17 plus the activation fee so we're looking max $150 and that's just for one account if you pass it okay and so, you know, two payouts, max payouts, you know, that's 4000 right? You're easily getting the money back on the account. So, just keep buying more accounts, more accounts, more accounts. Even, you know, I'd say I blow 25 past 25 And the payouts, you know, easily override the amount of blown accounts, right? 25 accounts can be one, we'll say two payouts, right? And, and that's all you need is two accounts to actually, you know, activate, right? Say you pay for the activation on all 25, we're at 2,500. All you got to do is get two payouts and you make back both. I mean, it could be months, months of losses, weeks of losses in those 25 accounts, right? Thank God I was put onto that method because without that, I would still be numb to the dollar and thinking, or, you know, I'd still be shaking at the dollar. and the dollar amount per trade would just still kill me all right knowing i could actually trade right just trade the chart and not my profits and losses and the amount that i'm up or down and draw down with right just looking strictly at the chart i mean it's it's a blessing that i can even have a chance to look at it in the light that i do now compared to what i 
used to. Because, man, even, I'd say like, it, I don't even know how many months ago. I mean, it was just terrible. I felt like I couldn't trade just because of the dollar amount. But I knew I could, I knew I could trade. Right, I knew I could because I seen everybody else around me taking the same trades that I would see, but I would get stopped out or I would in the moment, you know, execute poorly because I'm sweating the dollar amount. And that's how I fixed it. Right. And that's how I trade evals now, and that's how I pass them. After our little yap session now, we'll get into the stats and then into the main two trades that pass the account. So here we have the account. Right, I'm gonna activate it as soon as I'm done uh, filming this. Gonna activate it, try and keep trading it for the Discord. You see here, count balance 159. Right, reach and maintain the profit. Okay, best day of total target. We got 50% with two days complete. All right, we see the average winner, or you know, our worst day and best day were both 4,500. Never went into drawdown below 150. A blessing, All right? We see day two, we made it to 159, and now here is the part that's gonna absolutely drop your mouth. I mean, you're you're gonna think I'm a fraud, right? Bam, check that out. And what I want you to really focus on here is this. Okay. Right. And, and see, mentally, this whole time, I'm just chilling, right? I can't remember if I was on a call, right? Just, I can't remember what I was doing, right? I'm still trading, right? Just doing stuff in my house as well, right? Getting ready for the morning. Just chilling, okay? You go up and down, up and down, right? I, I don't understand how the... Profit and loss is low. Because last time it, it, it showed it on one account. But because I've had accounts with them before. I haven't traded with them in a while. But so I guess I guess PO low. I don't know. I don't remember going under 150. So I guess I went up in profit. I had to have gone up. I'm not sure. Because I don't think I ever went under there. But I'm pretty sure I went up. It was on two cons that I started off with. And it was at the beginning of the news, and I went up like 1,200, um, and then it came back down. So I'm not quite sure where that would lie at with that. But anyway, we can see here as well, right? Pretty decent RR, okay? You can see the average as well is 4 to 5, but the second day. I don't know how the average is 4 to 5 when this is a 9, like almost 10 RR, right? And then... This is like a three, three and a half. So I'm not sure how that averages out. But, right, I don't care about the number of contracts, right? Because I'm full porting. Some trades are like five cons, then two cons. Right, really just stretching my legs, having fun. All right, I don't do this that quite often. But sometimes it's enjoyable for me, right, in holding the low time frame. Like, you can see how short these scalps are. Right, some of them are four minutes, some of them are nine minutes for the big winners right here, and then, you know, 38 minutes, right? One was in the, I think this one was in the Asian session, and I just, you know, let the runner run, uh, you know, to final take profit. But, yeah, nothing, and you see this is nothing crazy, right? This is actually dog shit. Um, I wish I could, I'm going to find some way to show my Apex stats like on screen like this cuz right this is dog shit um hope right it'll be better for the performance account cuz i won't like i'm i don't call it trolling cuz you know you could see this and be like oh right you know it's easy to say trolling but i was just having a good good two days right just just doing my thing low time frame scalping well not my thing actually this this was not doing my thing um but just having fun with the account right i really don't give a fuck about a eval um, I'm gonna just trade, however. Uh, but we're gonna lock in, get a payout. Um, just send it to the Discord, right? It's all fun for the Discord. I trade my other accounts, right? How I want to. Um, you trade how you want to. 
I still follow all the models and stuff that I send, right? But sometimes, you know, I'll get in on a small scout that's a, right, a 15 second Q3 scout, right? And then in and out pretty quick. Um, but I'm fully going to promote Turtle Soup because that's the model that I trade. You know, that's the best trades that I do get. Um, you can scout quarterly theory, do stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the results you're going to get from these big winners, right, from, you know, the 38-minute holders, right, and then from the stats like that is going to be from Turtle Souping. All right. I, I don't know anywhere else where you'll see stats like this. Right, and I know these stats are trash, but actually look at stats like this. Right, for this is April 8th. You see for the whole day. 26 trades, right, no lot, whatever, I don't care, call it a lot, it's whatever. Right, $750 average winning trade, $80 on the losing average. Right, and that's a 9 RR. Right. And you see how easily that's profitable? I mean, like, didn't even, I, I never even sweating that I'm close to the, you know, the daily loss limit, right? Just, just chilling almost. Well, yeah, not almost, just chilling. Um, but yeah, I'll show a trade or two that I took, right? And all that I want to mainly push with this video, right, is just the overall concept of turtle souping. Psycho because that's the biggest thing right you can know all of the stuff and get your ass smacked by psychology and just be mentally weak and just right just get a thumb shoved up your ass um and then also risk to reward is also what i want to push because as you can see you can literally have a 30 percent win rate and be profitable if you like have a good win rate i mean a good rr excuse me like 750 like we're like like come on if you could trade like that every day would you want to or not want to and imagine scaling that right that's fourteen hundred dollars to a hundred and sixty dollar loss right twenty eight hundred dollar loss to a three hundred and twenty dollar loss right and if that's wrong quick math whatever but if it's right right you can see how easily that's scalable I mean, it's just in that, like, that's, RR is huge. Okay. Get into one trade I took, and then we'll end off the video. All right. So I thought this one was maybe 15 cons, but this was the trade that actually passed it. Um, Right. We see here, just an in-log. Um, I called out to the Discord. I was like, if it wakes up like this, I'm going to long. Longed right here. All right. In Q2. It was Q2 or Q3, right? Whatever. Right. Off the breaker order block, right? Fair value, you got here. Also expecting not to fully close and inverse the in walk. Right. I know we did close and inverse the in walk. Right. I'm still pretty confident in us going up. Right. We SMT'd at the low coming into this order block. Right. I'm just going to let it play out. And some of this was cut short because it was a pretty long trade. It's in the Asian session. But you can see I'm not, once I set my stop, I'm not moving it. I think I put it like maybe one tick too high. So I lowered it just a little bit to the actual low. But other than that, right, we still never even came within that risk. And see, this is just a simple manipulation turtle soup. You see, we have our accumulation range, accumulation, manipulation, and we'll see us distribute through the high, right, a higher time frame, open, low, high, close. Of course, we're buffering. Are we serious right now? All right, sorry about that. All right, obviously we want to try and see a lower time frame, fair value gap left open from the order block. All right, I have a small time frame, break your CSID, whatever you want to call it, come back to the rejection block. Okay, react pretty quickly. Then I'll leave a fair value gap. So 
So we continue higher here. You see, right, I'm not sweating, not moving any of my cell limits, you know, trying to take it 20 ticks or 30 ticks, right? It's be a one-to-one -one probably right here. There's no reason to do that. Just going to let everything play out. We have an SMT at that low as well. So that low is now going to be protected in my head. We should just see us chop around and see us escalate higher here. All right, and you're going to see that with that XXMD with our X cycle, X cycle manipulation distribution. All right, I maybe, yeah, I sold two cons here, and that's because the account was super close to passing, and I didn't want to risk us having to come back here and retrace into this fair value gap right on all five cons, especially when this was all I needed to pass. So a couple minutes go by, chop around, and we leave this fair value gap open. It's a breakaway gap. And we come right into TP, which passes the account on the final trade. So you can see me check in there, just making sure, right, wasn't, you know, close enough, but I, I aligned it perfectly. So I just let the sell limit hit. And you can see there, same account number since the beginning of the video, account balance, and the final trade we took, right, to pass the account. Solid little, I don't know, one to three, one to five, Asia session, right, something slight. But I'm going to end the video here, right? Nothing too serious, not a super educational video, just wanting to go over psychology, right? A lot of mental stuff, going over risk to reward, and, you know, just showing this is what I try to do in my Discord, teach exact trades like this, teach for risk and reward like that, right? I don't teach win rate like that, right? Very disappointed in that, I, but it's whatever, right? Still pass the account. And it's not that's not one of those moments where it's like, oh, you know, I still pass the account. It is what it is, right? It's one of the moments where I know it's an eval. And I know, like, in the moment, I wasn't stressing. Just chilling. Right? Wanted to hop on the Sunday and walk and just trade a little bit for the Discord, right? And I know this is not a high probability time to trade. And I told everybody, like, don't risk, don't trade, right? If you're... You know, just watch. Okay. Just use your brain, guys. Obviously, we're not trading on a Sunday, right? If you're just getting started, right? You need to be looking for your high probability time of week, time of day, turtle soups, before you even try and start scalping the one-minute Asian range. Okay. If you can't see the obvious ones, you're never going to see us, right, not want to sweep this low. Right, an SMT at the low, maybe with YM and not ES, and still be confident in it, right, five cons deep. All right, hope everybody learned maybe at least one thing from this video. All right, hope everybody has a great weekend or a great week. Enjoyed the episode, and stay safe. Y'all have a great one.